What's, what's happening, y'all? Welcome to Ohio Brew Week. Yes, we are going to Brew BQ. Craft beer and barbecue. barbecue. Can't wait to check that out. Yep, it goes till 1030 and we have like four hours. So we're gonna enjoy some music, enjoy the barbecue, probably go in a couple bars because it's really hot today. But yeah, come and join us. Come on, let's journey on y'all. <laughs> And here we are, y'all. We are entering the festival. So first step is we have to get some tokens for the food and the beer. We're gonna have some dinner with uh, Dr. May's Thai Kitchen. One of our favorite food trucks here in Athens. I love the saying on it, I survived Ohio Brew Week. Well, Brew Week isn't over yet, so this is not, we can't say this is a true statement yet. We're gonna find out though. He gonna survive. And we just ordered the barbecue meal deal. It looks quite delicious. Can't wait to see it come out. And then we also ordered the grilled meatball stir fry. Mm -mm -mm. And here's our food, y'all. The barbecue meal deal right here. Looks like some good old grilled chicken with some barbecue sauce slathered on it. Got some rice over here, some vegetables over this way. And then these are the meatballs. Looks like, looks like there's something really spicy on there. Can't wait to dig in, y'all. Take a look at all that. Mm, mm, mm. Looks so good. So I just took a little bite of this um, barbecue meal deal chicken and oh my goodness, the flavor is explosive. It has a tiny, tiny bit of heat, but it ain't too bad. And then Sarah just took a bite of the meatball here. What you think about it? By the way, show the bite. She took that tiny little bite there. What do you think about it? It's spicy. <laughs> Not a fan. I'll try again, but also that spicy, the kimchi thing is a lot. <laughs> but wait, the what now? The kick that he said about the chicken. Oh yeah. It's a lot. The rice will help though. Man, that is awesome flavor, y'all. I'm gonna I'm dig into this meatball. I'm gonna take yeah. a little bite right here. Mmm. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Loving it, y'all. Goodness. It's spicy, but it has, looks like there's some sweetness, like some syrup or something like that around there. That's delicious. What do you think about that chicken? The, spot, the sauce is spicy, but the chicken is really, really good. So, I mean, I'm not a big fan of spice. I'm getting more accustomed to it, but it's still really good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that chicken, that chicken is delicious. I love all that flavor on there, man. So good. And we still got some veggies. And so specifically, here's how the beer works. So um, I was wrong earlier. The tokens are just for beer, but essentially, you gotta buy a two-dollar cup. And then each beer token is $6. But there was a special where you get six of these beer tokens for $30 and it includes the cup. So now I know some of y'all ain't good with math, but essentially six beer tokens by itself is $30. So essentially going with that deal, you're saving $2. You, you get the cup for free. But yeah, that's how it's gotta be done. And we are enjoying our beers. I have the Homestead Snake Oil. And what you got? I have a mango wheat. Mango wheat, all right now. Yeah, this is really good. It's a little on the hoppy side for my liking, but um, you know, it's still nice, yo. And then, how's yours? It's delicious. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Took a 
little break from Barbecue and um, stopping at Jackie O's. We got one of their build your own pizzas. Got sausage, spinach, and on my half over here, some red peppers. Good afternoon, y'all. So it's Saturday afternoon, and um, there's been this lingering rain th from throughout the morning and into the afternoon. Hopefully it clears up. But anyways, gonna check out the Last Call Street Festival right here in Athens. They shut down um, Court Street, and this is supposed to be craft beer, food trucks, live music, all kinds of good stuff like that. Hopefully the rain hasn't messed it up too much. About to go find out. It's about a little after three o'clock, I think. The festival started at one, but I was kind of waiting for the rain to die down. But I know just looking at the radar, it keeps lingering. So I got tired of sitting around my apartment. Let's go try to have some fun, y'all. And by the way, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, this is the first time since 2019 that they've had this festival. We know what happened in 2020 and 2021. We don't need to get into all of that. So I'm excited. Um, Sarah and my first time at this festival. So can't wait to check it out. Sarah's at work right now until about six o'clock. So she's gonna join me after she gets off work. But I'm gonna go see some good stuff, have some good craft beer. Um, let's just enjoy. And there you have the banner. Ohio Brew Week, Ohio's original craft brew festival. Let's go enjoy. This is where they got the street closed off here. It's like there's still some people out in spite of the rain. Let's first check out 50 West Brewing. So I got a blonde ale from them. It is a um, strawberry, strawberry apricot. And it is quite refreshing. Um, really good for sitting by the pool. Perfect for summer. Cheers, y'all. Whole bunch of Ohio breweries and a couple of food trucks down this way. Can't wait to check out each and every one of these breweries here. Of course, got some locals, got Jackie O's, representing the Mystic Mama. And then got some more activity down here. Um, looks like you can buy some shirts and whatnot. Nice. And then got some more breweries down that street. Got your uh, porta potties, gotta have those. And I think, oh, one more brewery down this way. Gonna be trying to trying to hit all hit up each and every one of these, especially the ones that aren't in Athens, because we don't get to try those very often or at all. And then the stage is down this way. And so I got some lunch from the Daffodil Lunch Shack. And um, I got the Athens burger. And they have this special um, daffodil sauce on here. Let's bite into this burger though. I forgot to film my reactions to the first couple of bites, but <laughs> that burger was delicious. I devoured it. Um, really enjoyed that daffodil sauce. Very creamy, buttery type flavor. Maybe it has rosemary in it. Um, I don't know, tastes good, whatever it was. Um, delicious stuff. Anyways, I just finished my first beer. Time to get the next one. So I just got the uh, Podo Ale, or I'm sorry, Pogo Ale from Ryan Geist Brewing. And I took a swig of it and it is delightful, delightful fruit ale. It's a man, it's a good snack after that burger. It, it literally tastes like a fruit snack. <laughs> and they say they don't can it. I guess because canning it, they can't contain the flavor or something like that. So they only have it on draft. And again, that's from Rheingeist Brewery. That's in Cincinnati in the um, Over the Rhine neighborhood. By the way, check that neighborhood out. It's a lot of fun. That band was called Amethyst Stone. They were really, really good. They played a mixture between um, cover songs and their original music. I'm definitely gonna have to check them out. Uh, they say they're on Spotify. Again, that band is called Amethyst Stone. Uh, really good vocals, just um, 
good time. Wouldn't mind seeing one of their shows again. Anyways, I just um, stopped at I just stopped at the uh, Fatheads Brewing tent, and I got myself a Session IPA. Nice, easy sipper. Could have this one by the pool. Has the right amount of hops, but not too many, not too little. I like it. I'm digging it. I noticed that uh, at least one or two of the breweries are starting to run out of beer. So maybe some of these breweries didn't anticipate the uh, turnout or the quantities. But um, hopefully, maybe they're going to restock later. I hope so. Or, you know, maybe they're waiting for keg deliveries or something like that. Let's hope on that because it's still pretty early in the day. It's only a little bit before 5 o'clock. Still got six more hours of the festival. Anyways, having a great time out here. It's hot. The rain clouds have cleared up, and I am sweating. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day out here, y'all. And as expected, as the rain cleared up, the crowds have really come out. It's a beautiful sight to see, y'all. Just stopped off at Sonder Brewing, and they're out of Mason, Ohio. By the way, folks, Mason, Ohio is right where Kings Island is at. Shout out to uh, yeah, to the Kings Island small. family, Cedar Fair, all that good stuff. But um, I got their tropical seltzer. I decided I need um, I needed a little bit more hydration. So let's check this one out. Woo! Feel like I'm in the Bahamas uh, drinking that one. Man, that is very sweet, very tropical. Tastes like all the fruit on the island. So I did not catch the name of that last band. Um, I think it was like Elio Fonte or something weird in French. I I don't know, I'm probably, I'm, actually, I know I'm completely butchering the name. I did not get it. My bad. The next band that's going to be up is called American Engine. And um, in between the bands, I got another, another Ohio beer. People having fun time over there. Uh, this one is a uh, Balloon City Hazy IPA. It's from, I think it was called the Brew Kettle. Man. <laughs> It was from the uh, brew kettle, and I think, and I think it was, um, I think it's from, I'm sorry, let me back up. This one's called Balloon City Hazy IPA. It's from the brew kettle, and it's from Cleveland, good old Cleveland. Um, it's really delicious. It's um, definitely has a uh, juicy slash can, almost like candy taste to it. I'm digging it, man. A lot of really good beer from all around Ohio, y'all. But anyways, can't wait for the next band to get on American Engine. Check it out, y'all. And so I am getting dinner at the Cheesy Weenie. And I am getting the Hawaiian Dog. Let y'all take a look at those ingredients. And I am definitely getting it without the onions. But that looks really interesting. And I cannot wait to try it out. All right, so here's that hot dog that I just shook, that I just showed you guys the description of. Let's take a bite. All right, man. <laughs> Again, I absolutely devoured that hot dog. It was delicious, y'all. Man, it was a very nice, sweet and spicy combo. The the, the cheese was an excellent. The cheese and pineapple was an excellent combination, along with that angry peach barbecue sauce. Man, I loved it. But anyways, let's go check out this band for a few minutes. And then um, after, after I go check out this band, I got a really hot tender date coming up. Can't wait to introduce y'all. Hey, um, so that hot tender date I was telling y'all about, 
showed up. I'm glad she's swipe right. <laughs> So, my next beer up, I got the Land Grants Osher IPA. Mm. That's nice and smooth, not too hoppy. Has a little bit of a creaminess to it. Maybe it's not quite a milkshake IPA, but it's, it's quite pleasant. I can definitely see myself chilling out by the pool, enjoying this beer right here. And uh, Sarah is not in the mood to have any beer right now. So that's Powerade. She's being a responsible adult. I'm not. <laughs> I also work in the morning, so I have to be responsible. Yeah, um, shout out to Sarah. She's got to get up at... Uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to be at work by 9 on a Sunday morning. That's brutal, y'all. Anybody else need an hour to become alive and functioning adult? Let's go right here. <laughs> well, she's an alive and beautiful functioning adult to me 24-7. Thanks, babe. <laughs> and that's not just the beer talking. <laughs> so how about American Engine? Really awesome music there. Uh, current band that's up right now is, uh, is called Bulls on... Making a mess right here. The current band that's up right now is called Bulls on Parade. They're basically a Rage Against the Machine um, cover band. They sound pretty good so far. So far, gonna take y'all over there to check them out. Also, got my next beer. This is from Ernest Brew Works, and they are located in Toledo, Ohio. And this is their uh, Crunchy Hippie. It's basically a brown ale that's intended to sound like a, um, or I'm sorry, it's a brown ale that's intended to taste like a uh, granola bar, like a hippie, but um, very nice, definitely, definitely tastes like I'm, I'm on the trail out in Colorado or out in Utah or something like that, having a little trail snack on the mountain. Good stuff right there. And unfortunately, Sarah got tired. She had to go to bed. Uh, she's got to get up early for work tomorrow, be an adult, all that good stuff. Um, and we have, speaking of which, after her workday tomorrow, we have a very exciting trip. Cannot wait to share that with y'all. We're gonna head east for the very last time before we head west. Anyways, let's get back to this festival, man. This is good stuff. So we got ourselves the OU Oh Yeah Stout. And then we also stopped at Domino's for some pizza. Uh, represent Ruben. How you doing, man? Doing good. Oh, All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. It is the following day. And, man, that festival was an absolute blast. Last Call Street Festival here in Athens, Ohio, for oh, to uh, round out the uh, Ohio Brew Week. Man, had so much fun. My buddy Ruben ended up joining me for the rest of the night. So uh, we got nice and rowdy. <laughs> but yeah, man, that was a great festival. That last band was a Pink Floyd tribute. Unfortunately, I did not catch their name. But they put on, a, put on an awesome show. Had, had such a fun time. Shout out to the folks who uh, put on that festival. A lot of fun, man. Definitely, y'all should check it out next year. Anyways, going to close this video out. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, uh, bell icon for those notifications, and leave us a comment. What did you think about the festival? What or what festivals should we hit that we have not checked out yet? You know, what type of fest what type of craft beer festivals happen in your neighborhood? Let us know, man. All right, thanks for watching, y'all.